friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. A lot of new subscribers in the last month. I just want you all to know, number one, thank you. Thank you so much for your comments and those of you who are new and are finding that you enjoy the channel. I appreciate hearing that from you. Um, I also wanted to tell you, because this is new, um, this is a different house, so you may not be familiar. Um, we have a little house in the outskirts of St. Louis, close to Wentzville, it's an area called Lake St. Louis. And um, we were in transition to retiring. My husband was still working up here and our home down south took a lot longer to build. And so we, we had already sold our house thinking we were moving in and um, it didn't happen. So a lot of, uh, a couple years spent in hotels and that gets very old, very fast, especially when you're not staying in, you know, like a Ritz Carlton or, a, you know, something really nice. It, it was a basic hotel to me when I would come and stay with him. It's, you know, you don't have a kitchen. You got maybe one window overlooking a parking lot. You don't have a yard. And there's, it's just, you got no things with you. And I was traveling with two dogs at the time as well. So um, we decided financially that it was actually uh, to our benefit to build a small home at the time. Interest rates were still really low. And the reason why did we build? We built because at the time you couldn't buy a house. Every house that was going on the market was going into a bidding war and people were paying way more. And where we live here in this area, you don't, when you sign a contract to build a house, that is how much it's going to cost you when you close. I hear from other people in other parts of the country that that's not the way it works. And if you build a custom house, obviously the price just goes anywhere and everywhere. So that's the story. We're at the cottage. We come up here for uh, family events. We've got a lot, both of us grew up in the outskirts of St. Louis. So we have a lot of family and friends here and so and a lot of grandchildren. So we were babysitting and uh, we'll be back to babysit some more. I mean, that's kind of what happens in this house. And again, it's kind of nice to have the, a home base where the kids can play in the yard. The dog doesn't have to be taken out to a parking lot to go to the bathroom. It's a long story. This is what I want to get to. We're at the cottage. That's what I call it. It's a small home, about 1,500 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. And um, where I'm standing is what you normally would call a great room. It is a very open concept. You walk in, you can see the family room, the, the eating area and the kitchen, and that's it. And then you have a hallway with your three bedrooms. So I'm here to do... The tablescape. Some of you guys may be saying, what, another tablescape? You know, well, first of all, I never get tired of them. I could make a tablescape every day. It is one of my most favorite things to do. Secondly, I've had requests last Christmas for somebody, um, not just one person, several people asking to see a round table. To me, I don't do a whole lot of different things with a round table which you'll see and maybe that'll help you. My inspiration today is from plates. Plates that I got years ago at Pure One. Um, I, I, you know, somebody told me they found one of the plates from Pure One that I had in a recent video on Etsy. So, you know, guys, look around. Maybe you can find them if you're really in love with them. Um, and I also noted as I was doing this, I look at my art in my room. This art has a lot of colors, but as I stand here, you can see a predominant dark color. And because I'm going into fall, I am looking to pull out some of the darker colors in my house. And this house does not have white cabinets. It is totally not what my other house is. It's the opposite. So I think they're, mm, I can't really remember the color name, but they, they're just close as they can. I can tilt you a little so you can see to black. So close. And then I've got a lot of black furniture in the house. So anyway, it's a lot different look. All right. I'm going to show you my plates first. They are so gorgeous. So um, they're kind of aged looking. There's a little pattern in the background. 
you know, there's gold and a, I'd say a teal blue. And that's a prune. So there's four, and these are lunch plates. If you're new and you don't know, that's where I invest. I invest in luncheon plates. I don't buy tons and tons and tons of sets of dishes. However, I do have quite a few. But for holidays and things like that, I would prefer to invest in a set of four of these. Or if I have a table of eight or 12, I'll get, you know, multiple packs. But I'm going to buy something with personality on it that will communicate the season or whatever I'm going for. So this is French, I guess, palm. I took French for three years and I don't even know. I guess that means apple, which looks a lot like that plum, right? Or prune. That was a prune. And here we have a pear. And then, did you know in French the grapes were raisins? I did not know that. All right. So that's the inspiration, and I carry that inspiration throughout this whole great room. So you're not going to see all of that today on this video. I am going to concentrate on the table, and, and I think that'll be it. I like to do little decisions. I always make my own. You don't always agree with me, but whatever. That's what we do here. Um, what color plate would you put with this? I mean, I used what I had, did not buy anything. And that was, I mean, it made my decision for me. And I'll tell you that in the end. So I found this. I feel like I had another type of gold that was a little bit more muted, but I couldn't find but one of those plates. And you guys may be going, "What? what, what how could you not find them? Aren't they in your cabinets? Well, we were moving for like five years. So we've had stuff in storage for so long. It's all out of storage. We have not gone through every single bin, not at all. Um, but I did find enough of these and that really pulls out the color of the fruit, which it will on all of them. So that works. I like that. The gold, those gold plates were also pure one. I will link similar or something that I like if I can't find the exact same thing. Um, I can't, <laughs> that one's messed up, but it doesn't matter here. So this one's, uh, oh, I love that. You can kind of see there's a, a hammered pattern to that. This, when I saw this, I was like, oh gosh, I would love to do that. And then put a gold charger behind it. In fact, I'll show you one of the chargers I brought. Since I didn't end up using these at home, I brought these. And I thought that could be a really cute setting. But I only had two blue plates. And that's what made my decision for me. So... <laughs> We're going to start with, what do I start with all the time, you guys? A runner. Let's go. I know I brought probably three runners with me, but when I got here, there was a runner on the table because sometimes I'll start a project here and then it's time to go and I don't finish it. So I must have, and I probably had already shown it, and it was the sunflower, which I don't have any sunflowers here. But it really doesn't show up. I'm just getting a really rich gold color here in that velvety feel. And somebody asked me about a table runner the other day. Unless noted, all table runners come from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Always. They're $19 usually. And I mean, there's such a variety and I wouldn't even know where else to look for one except on Amazon, which I have bought some on Amazon. This is a very long runner. And so I try to keep, I have a, a square pedestal underneath. So I line the base or, you know, the this part of the chair is going to be lined up to that. So that's that's how I do it. And that way... The runner, it doesn't really matter how long it is, it's not going to land in the lap of my chair or in the lap of a guest. All right. 
So I had brought the gold velvet. I already used them in the dining room. If you've missed my dining room fall, it was like three videos ago, two videos, I don't know, somewhere in there. You can find it on my playlist. You can find it on the uploads. Um, but I brought those down. The gold was a much more brown than this gold. Didn't go together at all. Not at all. <laughs> Um, when I got down here, these were on, which I love these. These are from Hobby Lobby, but I also have found them on Amazon, so I can link them. And then um, I had these laying in a closet. Uh, I can't remember where I bought them. They weren't expensive. They're just those little kind of like straw. I bought this to stage my mom's home when I sold it years ago. And why would I even go there? <laughs> um, I was thinking about that color up there that you see in that picture. But the truth is, I think you could even see this on camera. This almost comes across as a navy blue when I put it next to that, which is a true teal. Um, but when I put it with everything, it just didn't work. It was not the one. So we're going with this burlap. I want to say something. Most of my comments are so amazing. I think I only have really, I've had probably five in the lifetime of my channel that were not wonderful. And, and they weren't even that bad. One was, and most of them are not. But um, lately I've had this one person, and I answered her the first time, I'm not answering her anymore. Um, who's telling me she just wants to see the finished thing. Stop showing what you're doing. I hate decorate with me's. And um, I want to just put it out there for anybody who's not commenting that feels that way. As an interior decorator, the philosophy of my channel to make your home your happy place is I'm teaching. I'm teaching you guys to have more confidence in making selections and trying new things. And I love to show you why I make a certain decision. And even this week, somebody told me that, that oh my goodness, your fall and your coastal don't go together. And I know she didn't mean anything bad by it because she truly didn't. Um, and that's fine. You know, that for me is her honest opinion. While I had probably 10 other people who specifically said, I love your fall and your coastal together. It just makes it so clear to us that we're individuals and that's why we don't want to just see what's out there in a magazine and go, oh, so gray's out. I can't paint gray anymore. Or, I, you know, the color of the year is... I don't know, mustard. I mean, I don't know. I think I might like that. But regardless, <laughs> the point is you do not have to follow those rules, right? And so that's kind of my goals. <laughs> I know I'm telling you a lot, but we've got a lot of new people. And I just kind of want you to know why I do explain everything because some people don't like the explaining. And if you don't, you guys, I don't mind. You know, fast forward. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see it, just fast forward. Okay, I went to Kirkland's today. I was feeling really bad. When I stopped going to Pier 1, it was because I stopped my decorating business. I used to give them a lot of business, and it wasn't a year till a year later they were out of business, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm the reason, because I spent a lot of money there. Well, I haven't been going to Kirkland's lately either, and I don't want them to go out of business. It's just hard when you go into TJ Maxx and Home goods have so much variety at such amazing prices. Um, but I just wanted to say I went into Kirkland's today and a lot of their fall is 50% off and some of it's 30% off. So I don't know if anything I bought, I mean, this looked like fall, but I feel like I paid full price for it. But when I saw this, I told the lady, because it's right next to a home goods, I'm like, I'm going to look in here, then I'm going to go next door, and then I'm going to come back here. But uh, there were only four of these left, and I knew that I needed them. Um, okay, is that not beautiful? I love it. It's definitely the fall, but it's in my gray blue. And this is just everything that I was going for in this room. 
I, I, I don't know how much they were. I'd have to look at my receipt. But they're packaged in a set of four. So also I want you guys to know this, when I'm decorating, especially when I'm dealing with what I have, which is often, I'll get comments where people will say, oh, you need this color or you need this. And it's like, okay, but I don't have it. And so again, I'm trying to make you guys see how you can make it work with what you either have or when you can't find exactly what you wanted, still you can make something happen. And sometimes, oh my goodness, sometimes it comes out so much better than you thought. So while I at first just really needed these gold plates, then I found the blue ones and I really needed to do those. In the end, these are the ones that are gonna make the magic happen. Look at how well they go with that runner. I mean, this is, I think this is gonna be really pretty. Okay, I'm going to show you three different centerpieces from simple. Oh, they're all simple, really. Um, I found this at, I'm sure, at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. It is um, definitely um, like a, a wicker type or a straw. I don't know what. Um, I picked it up partly because it's got that color I'm looking for and partly because I had a a bucket of hydrangeas with this color blue in it in this room since we moved in. And it's one of my favorite pieces. I just leave it out year round. So I thought, well, why not? Third, you'll see in a minute, but let me say, this is all you got. You just got a basket, get some stems, pluck it down in the center. You could be done. I mean, I don't have my glasses and napkins up, but just saying, you could be done with that. Also, uh, add a couple of candles on either side. Again, you could be done with that. You want me to grab some? Sure, I will. By the way, the things I'm showing you are gonna show up in the house somewhere else, but uh, these candles, I was very attracted to because of the lid on them. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And then the smell, this is called um, sandalwood myrrh and it's DW Naturals. Um, and this is uh, from Home Goods for $9.99 this year. But it's got that gray blue scent and then we're adding that wicker uh, texture to it and isn't that cute? I love it. This next one I know you're all gonna go keep that one. I know you are but when you find out where it ends up you'll understand. So uh, this was my first pick. I put this down. Um, this is old. I've had it for at least a year. 
uh, velvet pumpkins, uh, navy blue, and cream. And then we've got the blue hydrangea in here again. The candles are called sage pumpkin. They are real. They smell divine. I bought them this year and last year at Home Goods. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. So I just want you to see how many different ways you could do something. Now, if I was gonna put this on this table, I would have only used this height so that I wouldn't have to move it because right now that's a little tall. I mean, I can probably see this person and I know I can see that person, so it works, but I still would have kept it lower with that candle. And you may be going, why do you have two? Usually people put the tallest in the center. Well. They came in packs of two, and um, that doesn't make sense because I could have put two, um, two small ones and one in the center. I don't know. When I put it where I ended up with, I loved doing it different, and that's just what I chose to do. Okay, this is gorgeous, but it's not the one we're going with. All right, the last one, I'm choosing it because it's very different and I actually had it on my coffee table and then when I needed to change some other things around, it was just like, okay, let's put it here. And this is old. Um, it's interesting, sometimes I can find these on Amazon, but um, this is for the company that I used to have an account with as an interior decorator called Uttermost. It's very heavy. These are very nice. They're glued on. Over the years, um, a couple of them have come unglued. <laughs> um, but they're very much in keeping with the same tones, which I'm going to grab a plate here. Well, actually, I'll grab one. That's got the, oh, gosh, it's so heavy. Let me adjust. It's got the pair on it. So as you can see, this is a really good option. Now, I again, it's that one thing. So could I add candles on either side? I could, but I'm not going to. I want it that simple. I'm going to have my glasses and my silverware and napkins, and I just don't want anything else. So there we are. Uh, the next thing I wanted to choose was napkins. And when I came up with this, I'm like, what are you thinking? <laughs> First, I saw these in my collection. They are beaded, they're gorgeous, they need to be ironed, but they just have no personality on their own, even with a, well, maybe with a really elaborate napkin ring, but not with what I'm using. And I had, these were in my haul. I actually just found two, uh, another pack of them. I got them here in St. Louis like a month ago and I was just at Home Goods and I just found another pack. So now I've got eight, thankfully. Um, but this matches something at our other house. So, um, but I'm not using it this season. So I thought, let me use this. And it, it's just nothing. Ugh. On a whim, I grabbed some napkins on my way out the door. Um, and it is the, I don't know, okay. I, I want to show you something, but I don't want to show you yet, so I'm not. Um, but, okay, we have a muted gold or tan. I'm not sure. To me, I'm calling it gold, but it's probably just tan. And the, the key in this one is that there is a deep blue in there. And so when I put this against this, it's really drawing out the gold and a little bit of the blue. And that rust is, I mean, orange is the complementary to true blue. So if I'm muting my blue and I'm muting my orange, that's actually a complementary color. And I, it's probably, a, oh, I don't know, tertiary color, maybe a tertiary color to the to the goldish yellow. So regardless, this is where I'm, I'm headed. I really don't have that much pattern. I have a 
a piece of fruit on a plate and the rest of it is pretty solid. So I'm just going to do your basic. I mean, I could do all kinds of fancy stuff, but I really rely on my napkin rings and I just like to do something where I pull. One of the things I found with this one, there you go. Got to make sure that it's covered. So I'm just going to do that. Um, think, I think I'm going to put it at the top of the, ta of the plate sideways because again, you don't want to put something like this over your plate because you're covering up the main attraction. <laughs> and on the side, um, it can work, but if you're going to put your silverware out, you can't put your silverware on this. Now, could you tuck your silverware? I don't know. Let's try it. Somewhere in my life, I have some wooden, but they do, they're not wood and gold. They're wood and silver, I think, um, flatware that I was wishing I had with me. But now that I'm going to try this, how good it is that I have gold. And this flatware I bought when we bought this house, um, it is a matte gold. I um, decided for some reason that it's a long story that I'm not going to get into, but I decided to do gold accents. So I'm just going to kind of, I may fluff this napkin around a little bit to make this all work. Okay. Because I'm doing it this way, maybe like picnic style, I'm not going to be putting in two forks. I'm only going to put in one. So we'll see. And now I might put it on the side. All right, I tried it both ways. What ended up happening is when I put this in, like so, um, it's really pretty. When I start tucking in gold, it lost the whole shape. I mean, it just became a gold mess, so. Not going to do that. So I'm just putting them on top of the plate like this or like this. I'm going to let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Okay, I just wanted one more op opportunity to show you um, the colors here. I have that beautiful gold that is in the plates and the runner. And then as you move up that blue, and there are different shades of blue in here. All right, you guys, I am really thrilled with this table setting. This is my fall table setting that has, the only pumpkin you see in it um, is right there on that charger, which you can barely see. Um, and I'm just doing this partly to make the point that everything fall is not always necessarily pumpkin. And I went pumpkin overboard last year, so I'm kind of restraining myself this year. So it doesn't mean there's not gonna be pumpkins in this house, there will be, trust me. But I, I had these plates and they really are dripping with the colors that I was bringing in for fall. So as we move throughout the space, you're gonna see how it's coming together. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you for joining me today. Again, I ask if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you're not, liking if uh, you enjoyed it, 
and commenting if you can, because I really appreciate becoming acquainted with you. You know, I read your names, unless it's user somebody, then I don't know. There's somebody uh, that I talk to every single time. She will know what, who she is when I say the first uh, two letters of her username is BW. She tells me the best stories. I love reading her comments, but I don't know her name. Um, and maybe she doesn't want to give it and that's fine. But um, some today I, di I just went M to somebody because, you know, sometimes we have our initials up there. But my point is, if you can uh, comment, I just enjoy getting to know who you are and share if you can. I appreciate it. I had several shares this past week and I know that that helps the channel grow as well. If you are um, starting to think about Christmas shopping, I have started uh, amends only. I, I've got puzzles and games and things like that, but right now my game one is fun year round. The puzzles right now I have in are for fall. So if you go into somebody's house uh, for the weekend or something, that's a great housewarming gift. Um, or a, a visitor gift, hostess gift, whatever, is a puzzle. Uh, almost everybody enjoys them. So secretly, they do. Um, and then, of course, candles, etc. So I have a lot of different categories on my Amazon stores, and I will specifically link individual things. And I already can tell you that, you know, that runner's not available on Amazon, and those Tier 1 plates are not available. I doubt that that is. So a lot of it may just be completely different things, but maybe I've stayed in the same color tones, or maybe it's just a whole nother, you know, like if you invited me to your house and said, buy it all on Amazon and make me a table, that might be what it is. So surprise. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing more of the cottage coming up in my next video, don't forget to come back, turn your notifications on, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.